What's up guys, John from Moonplot.com here today in voiceover mode. Which means I forgot to film an intro at the farm. Okay, so as long as we're all on the same page here that I completely forgot. So, what you're seeing here is some high speed GoPro trimming action. It's super thrilling, I know. I thought it was kind of funny, so uh, there's there's a few minutes of it here, and uh, I'll actually come back when we go to something else. Oh, hey, I'm back a little early. So, little potato update, they're starting to die off, which means we need to start digging them soon. I actually think this next coming weekend we will be digging potatoes, so look forward to a little bit of video of that. I don't think we'll do them all at once, but we'll start on them. I'm not sure if we're going to have sweet corn by the 4th of July, but uh, we need to go out there and check it, because there's, there's quite a bit of it there, so uh, we just need to go check that. And I'll come back when we're done trimming in a minute.
All right, so this is the lawnmower that Dad was using. It's our old Han lawnmower. I think he said it's from 66. Don't quote me on that, but it's from the 60s, I do believe. And uh, yeah, it's quite old. So here, we're out in the garden. All the oats are dead. And look, the pumpkins have been planted. Magic. These are the pumpkins that Dad and Mike planted the other night. I was not there. I was actually out cutting grass, because with all this rain we've been having, I've been cutting grass whenever I possibly can. Yeah. All right, so now we're in the shed looking at the disc. This is one of four gangs on the disc. That's what each little section is called. So, you know, I'm sure a lot of you guys know that. And uh, we're gonna take the sucker apart. So basically the metal framework that's holding it all together, we wanna sandblast and paint it up, which we did sandblast it. I didn't film any of that. You can see we got the bearings there and I actually got dad to put on a pair of gloves before touching oily, greasy stuff. Cause when we put away our disc every year after we use it, we put the nastiest, thickest, grease oil that we can find on it to keep it from rusting. And here we go, we realized we needed to take the scraper bar off, take all the scrapers off, so that we could continue to disassemble it. So you can see the bearings, uh, we will be taking those out and painting the metal. Actually sandblasting it first, I didn't film any of it of course, because you guys have seen the sandblasting. So here we're going to cut to, what night was that, Wednesday night? Yeah, Wednesday night, the other stuff is all shot on Sunday. We got a painted orange, so we had painted it primer on Sunday, that primer red, and then paint it orange after that of course, because you know, orange for the win. It's allegedly going to match our tractor. Um, I think our tractor's a little faded over the years, so uh, I don't think it's actually going to match, but we've used this paint on multiple other projects of ours, the roller, um, what else have we painted orange? Oh, that cart that we made, there's, there's a few other things that we've painted with this particular paint. Um, it's a pretty good paint, and what I'm doing here is I'm going for a lighter coat, um, knowing that I'm going to have to do two coats. So you'll see it doesn't look perfect, and I'm okay with that, because if you start spraying it on too heavy, then you get runnage. And runnage is never good in life. Wait, that sounds weird. That's okay. So guys, do not forget to check out our live stream this next coming Saturday. Oh, there it is, by the way. That's the paint we're using. And it's, it's actually called Flambo Red. Which, I know, whatever. So guys, live stream this coming Saturday, July 11th, for some big Puma Plow related news. It's going to be awesome. And oh yeah, today is the 5th of July when this video is released, so I hope everybody had a good and safe, more important, safe 4th of July. Alright, so guys, this is the river that we went to last week, I think, in the video where this was all underwater and those walkways actually went uphill. Now they're starting to go back downhill like they should. And this is some of the driftwood that has come down the river with the recent high water. So guys, with that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Toodles.